hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodie and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health, and your life. So we literally just got straight back from gym and on today's schedule is to film a full day of eating for you. I was actually speaking to one of my clients the other day and telling her how I don't actually eat a lot of meat. And she was like, how do you hit your protein then? And I was like, okay, that's a great idea for a video. So that is what we're going to talk about today. How I get my protein in without eating a lot of meat. Now, I, I'm not vegetarian, I'm not vegan or anything like that. The reason I don't eat a lot of meat is simply because I don't enjoy cooking it. Usually I will have some kind of meat with my dinner and yeah, the rest of the day is meat free. Obviously that changes if I go away or if I want to go out for lunch or something like that. If I feel like a chicken salad, which is actually one of my favorite foods, um, but it has to be a good one. <laughs> then yeah i will have that like i'm not strictly no meat i am not strictly only this portion of meat a day like it's just what kind of works out and yeah so i haven't decided yet whether i am going to make it a typical day where i add a bit of meat in my dinner or whether i am going to make it completely meat free and just show you how i hit my protein target anyway and show you that it is possible but we will see what I feel like doing later. Anyway, to start with, I'm gonna show you my first meal of the day, which is always the same. When I wake up, I am a let's get things done person. And so I pretty much jump out of bed, head to a cafe, have a black coffee, have some sparkling water. And then if it's a workout day, I will head straight to gym and get my workout done because I find I work out better on an empty stomach. Now that is totally fine to do that, but it is really important then to come home and get some food into you to help with that muscle recovery. And the best food to eat after a workout is something with protein and something with carbs. That's why I literally have the same thing every morning. I love it. I look forward to it. I never get sick of it. It's a great source of protein, great source of carbs, and it fills me up as well. All right, so if you've watched my other videos, you would know my first meal of the day is always oats, protein powder, and Greek yogurt. If you mix it all together, it tastes really good. At the moment, I'm using this VPA Australia rich mocha flavor protein, which is delicious. And that's how I kind of make it different is I just change the flavor protein powder that I'm using. I also really like strawberry and I add this Greek yogurt by Chobani because it's like so high in protein, so low in calories and yeah, it just adds extra protein, extra creaminess and makes it taste good. My protein target at the moment is set to 130 grams and my calories are on 1900. I am reverse dieting after my deficit as I explained in my previous video. And so that is what we are going to be aiming to hit today. All right, so that is what it looks like. I mix it all up. So I used 100 grams of the Greek yogurt, 20 grams of protein and 40 grams of oats. And it's a decent source of protein to start the day. All right, so we are back. It is about 12.30 now and it is time for coffee number two. So when I moved here, I got myself a coffee machine. I am obsessed with it. I still like to go out for my coffee in the morning just to get out and change my environment. And then before lunch, I like to have my second coffee of the day. And this one, I do use milk. So that is why I'm filming it because it has calories. I use lactose free milk and full cream milk because even though my calories aren't that high at the moment compared to what I'm used to, I like full cream milk because I actually have trouble hitting my fat intake. You'll see like I didn't add anything like peanut butter and stuff to my oats. Sometimes I do if I have extra calories to play with, but I really like having full cream milk. It tastes better and lactose free because also it tastes better. And I'm not really lactose intolerant, but I don't know. I just really like this milk. It actually has for the serving size I'm gonna use in my coffee, which is half a serve, it's got four grams of protein as well. And you know, every little bit of protein adds up, especially if you're not eating a lot of meat. So yeah, that is what we're gonna have now. And then I kind of get into work for another hour or so, and then we'll have lunch. All right, coffee is ready. Look at that foam. The Nespresso machine does such a good job of making it nice and thick. 
And then this is the capsule I like to use at the moment. It is a, a Melbourne roaster that makes them. And I thought that was really cool to support them. They sell them at Coles. So yeah, they taste really good as well. All right, so it is almost lunchtime. My lunch has been pretty boring recently. I've basically been having eggs on toast, but my way, because I want to increase the protein content. I want to increase the volume and I want to reduce the calories because my calories aren't that high for what I'm used to. You got to remember I was used to eating, like my maintenance is probably around 2,400 calories and I was used to eating almost 3,000 calories. So 1,900 calories, anything less than 2,000 feels like such a little quantity of food for me. So for my eggs, the way I kind of increase the volume is by having liquid egg whites with a whole egg so i mix those together so i still get some nutrients from the yolk i still get some healthy fats i find if i not that there's un well actually there is unhealthy fat so let's just keep going um <laughs> i find if i just have the egg whites on their own they don't fill me up as much and it tastes better with a yolk as well but if you just have two eggs you end up getting more fat more calories and a lower quantity of food so that is why I like to have those together. And then I actually am doing gluten-free at the moment still. I've been really good at it. I mean, strict, not. I've been really consistent being gluten-free. I'm not celiac or anything. I just feel better gluten-free and how you feel is the most important thing, right? So I try and stick to it. So gluten-free toast. And then I actually mix some turmeric into my eggs just for some flavor and then i'm going to serve it with some light ricotta on the toast and some beetroot as well because beetroot and eggs go really well together i said before i actually have trouble hitting my fat target and this is kind of why because when i go lower calories the first thing i take out is added fats because that just takes up so many calories for so little volume and I love eating big meals. Now this isn't necessarily the best thing for me though because fat is essential for your health. So you do wanna make sure you are hitting a minimum target and that is why I went back to having things like full cream milk to help me hit that. And as my calories get higher, I will go back to having two eggs instead of the egg whites. On the days I want eggs on toast, I don't know if I'm gonna change that. If I get sick of it, I will. But yeah, so for now, that is what I do. And the egg whites have a bit of extra protein as well. And as I said before, every little bit of extra protein you can get in really helps, especially if you are not getting it from meat. All right, so this is what it ends up looking like. We have the ricotta, the beetroot, and then the turmeric eggs. I also added some parsley and some salt. All right, so we are back in the kitchen. It is almost 6 p.m. I'm about to start getting dinner ready. The sun is going down, so if the lighting changes, that is why. Now, I have decided to make today a meat-free day, just for interest sake, really, to show you that it is possible to hit my protein target or at least get close to it, which is 130 grams, that's my protein target, uh, without meat and i don't necessarily recommend it meat is such a nutrient dense food at the end of the day but it is possible if for whatever reason you choose not to eat meat which i'm okay with as well so dinner is when i would normally have some meat sometimes i have it for lunch as well like i go through phases i think if i kind of get sick of eggs then i might start having some fish for lunch or i might start having some chicken or meat of some sort like it really just depends but overall i don't love cooking meat and i don't i don't normally have it for more than one meal of the day and one of my favorite protein sources for dinner if i'm not having any meat is actually pasta because pasta has a decent amount of protein in it i know you can buy the high protein pastas but you have to look at the ingredients on those and what they normally do is they add gluten which is a protein to the wheat to make it higher protein but gluten isn't something you really want to be eating more of in your diet even if you don't have celiac or you're not gluten sensitive i am choosing to be gluten free so this is the 
pasta I really like to use at the moment. It is chickpea pasta and the ingredients, literally chickpeas, 100%. And that is what I love about this. I like looking for foods that have the least amount of ingredients possible. Anything with vegetable oil in is like immediately no. I'm actually very sensitive to vegetable oil. That was actually causing a lot of my gut issues from last year. So it's very interesting that I got to the bottom of that and that was the cause. But anyway, so per serve of this pasta has 25 grams of protein which is awesome and then to increase the protein content even more i like to have it with cottage cheese now i know a lot of you don't like the cottage cheese texture but when you add it into the pasta you don't notice it as much and it's kind of like adding cheese to pasta right like it tastes good so this per serve which i'm going to have a serve of 100 grams that's 12 grams of protein so 12 plus 25 that's over 30 grams of protein plus the veggies i'm going to add to it it's going to end up being around 40 grams of protein for the meal which is awesome considering it's all vegetarian how i like to do this sometimes i do have turkey mints on it and that tastes good too like as a kind of bolognese with veggies but i'm going to have it all separately tonight so i'm going to mix the cheese and the pasta together with some garlic and capers and chili that's delicious and then i'm gonna have my veggies on the side and yeah i'll show you when it is ready actually while the light is good as well i'm going to explain what i do afterwards and then i'm not going to worry about coming back when it's dark and i don't have a proper ring light here for some reason my ring light is in melbourne i can't be bothered bringing it back to the gold coast so useless down there but anyway i don't love snacking throughout the day as you would have seen i don't really have any snacks i just have a lot of water if i do get hungry between meals but my meals are big and that's why i like to make them big because they do tend to fill me up and i don't need to snack if you are someone that is always snacking consider trying not to or at least reducing one of your snacks because it's really good to go at least four hours between meals to give your digestive system a chance to clean itself out now night time is when i do like to snack a lot more like i am non-stop at night so i'll pretty much have my dinner and then whatever is left with my calories is what i get to eat for my dessert and pre-bed meal so if you've seen my full day of eatings before i usually have exo crunch at the moment i have been having a mini sachet of oats vanilla flavor and then i add more protein powder to that and more yogurt so it's pretty much my breakfast again but a sweeter version because the oats are vanilla flavor and yeah that is how i like to go to bed and i have m m's before that most nights or some kind of chocolate because I have my sweet cravings too, I just know how to control them and I think because I know at the end of every single day I have that to look forward to, I don't really care about eating sweets during the day. I think the most important thing to realise is I have pasta and I have oats and I have chocolate all after 6pm, probably after 7pm and I'm not fat. You don't get fat from eating carbs after 6 p.m. or after dark or whatever the rule is or the myth is. As long as it fits into your calorie requirements, you can continue losing fat, you can continue building muscle, you can transform your body. So I'm gonna show you my dinner. Once it is ready, I'll also put up my macro totals as well and how close I got to my target. Just remember with that, you don't need to be perfect. Being close is good enough. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be all for this video. So thank you for watching. Please like it if you like it. If you wanna see more, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. All right, so there we have it. That is how it turned out. That's the garlic caper and cottage cheese chickpea pasta. I put fresh parsley and chili on top. I don't know why tonight I felt like having everything separated. So that is what we have done. We have got some tomato and then the cottage cheese to dip the greens in. And then we've got roast pumpkin. And yeah, so that is my dinner. And then I will be enjoying my dessert. 
and then we're gonna go to bed.